Farmers and herders in Kuyuk local government area of Adamawa State have signed a ceasefire agreement after, several, after years of conflict which have claimed several lives and destroyed property worth millions of naira. The ceasefire agreement was jointly initiated by managing conflict in, in northern, uh, northeastern Nigeria and the British Council who brought the two warring sides to a round table for dialogue. Correspondent Ola Bedenusi filed in this report. The southern senatorial district of Adamawa State has been a hotbed of conflict between farmers and herders. Both sides have lost members in their various hostilities. Mutual suspicion and distrust between the two groups has fostered years of disunity in the agrarian community. Now, it appears the herders and farmers are ready to shed their swords and settle their differences. It has taken interventions by the Agaji Foundation, the British Council, the European Union and MCN to bring the two sides together in the same room. The peace parley holds at Guyuk and the director Agaji Foundation, Ezra Dimas, explains that the aim is to forestall a further loss of lives in the community. We are all aware. We are here today to sign a peace accord agreement between farmers and herders. The process leading to this day began in June 2019. When we began the project, with advocacy visit to traditional institutions, government agencies, faith-based organizations, and community-based organizations, individual and other gatekeepers. Focus was on headers and farmers' conflict, which has lingered for several years with casualties on both sides. The representative of British Council appreciates both parties for agreeing to come to a ceasefire. Part of this success story, the peace signing agreement we are witnessing today between wider community and Bengala is something that we all have to say thank you to the. for giving us all the support. The herders and farmers express readiness to stop all hostilities and allow peace to reign in their domains. Adamao residents are hopeful that the ceasefire will take immediate effect in order to end the unnecessary bloodshed in the area.